Yep. And here we go, that's the intro. Hello, moderately chill. Shit, my chat is not on screen. I have to do something after the intro. <laughs> it is. So, this intro, by the way, fun fact, was made by Dean Dodrill, who made Dust an Elysian, Elysian Tale, right? Like, uh, like an indie game that was pretty successful, like a number of years ago. So, uh, yeah. All right, I need to fix my chat real quick. Sorry, very sorry. Here we go. Ooh, this looks horrible. This should look better now. Yes, here we go. All right. So, this is Jazz Jackrabbit 2. Um, before we get started, this is installed from my own original CD. This is not, I do have the game on GOG, but uh, you know, just for, for the old feels, I, I've decided to do this. What I've done is I have installed um, this modding thing here, Jazz Jack Rabbit 2 Plus, which um, gives us the potential for higher resolution, so we can go up until 800 by 600 with this mod, which is unheard of, right? But we're gonna play in 640 by 480 because uh, I think this looks more right. So that's what we're gonna do. And you know, it has a whole bunch of sort of like bug fixes and all that kind of thing and just makes it run better on current systems, current computers, which is pretty good. Um, and it works really well. I'm also using a DirectX wrapper to scale properly and not have nonsense going on with second monitor and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but uh, now it works pretty well. And um, I just want to play this. It's been a bit since I last played this properly, so uh, that's gonna be fun. So what we have here is we have four episodes of levels and we have to play the previous episode first we have to finish that to continue there's also a shareware demo there was a demo version of the game with which had kind of bespoke levels and we can play that too uh, we might do that later and there's home cooked levels because this has an editor and this has still an active community of people who are making levels but that might be something for later we're just going to start with the first episode here formerly a prince here we go. So, now we can pick a character, um, Jazz and Spaz. So this is obviously Jazz Jackrabbit, right? So the thing is, I've always preferred this guy here because I think the moveset is better. They differ in moves and levels are a bit different depending on who you pick. We're just going to go with the red guy here. We're going to play on hard and here we are in the game. So this is obviously sort of from the tail end of 2D games on the PC in the 90s. Like this came out in 1997, I believe, and uh, was seen as positively anti, not antagonistic, anachronistic at the time. But I really like the look of this, right? Like look at all the parallax scrolling in the background, for example, look at that. Doesn't that look awesome? You know, sort of this higher resolution 2D artwork. I think this just it's just great. I think it's fantastic. Um, so the reason why I like to pick this character is because he has a double jump. And in a platformer, I always like to go for double jump. The other character does not have that. And we also get this side kick motion here, which is also pretty useful. And uh, Jazz, the the main character, so to say. Has none of that, so uh, we're going to we're going to stick with this one. If I do an actual full playthrough of this, we might do we might do jazz as well. But I just prefer we've always preferred we've always preferred spaz in this house. You know, there's obviously some you know the whole spaz thing is maybe like a little bit problematic in some ways 
But it was the 90s. You know? As a 90s mascot platformer, you can't go in expecting too much, I guess. But here we go. Alright, so. This is one of the games where I will probably remember the first few levels relatively well. Like with secrets and stuff, and then it's gonna get dim. Um... But, uh, yeah. It's been, like, a long time. It's been, like, a... I don't know how many... How many years ago it was that I last actually played this, but... How can I change weapons? There we go. I'm also playing this with a controller, which is a bit weird. But, uh... You can play this with a controller. And I know that I used, like, a bad old PC gamepad... ...to play this. Back in the day, I had like a... It looked kind of like a Mega Drive controller, but it was terrible. Uh, now I have a controller that also kind of looks like a Mega Drive controller, but it's actually awesome. It's an 8-bit Do M30. It's fantastic. My favorite controller. So, yeah. This is Jazz Jackrabbit. It's a platformer, you know? I'm not actually a big platformer person. I like some old PC platformers that I played back in the day, but I don't seek it out. I don't play the sort of platform indie games a lot and that kind of stuff. I don't know. Oh. You know, I prefer my stuff turn-based, and that doesn't really work. Jesus, that doesn't really work in this genre, I guess. But it's great. So. So what we're going to do today is we're just going to hang out a bit and chill and play through this game. I don't know. I, I think it's not a particularly long game. There has been, there was an add-on called The Secret Files. If you install the version that you get on GOG, you get the add-on with it. Um, but if I remember correctly, I never had it. I never had the add-on back in the day. Um, I might want to play that at some point, but um, from what I've read is that the add-on is not very good. It also gives you a third character, um, a lady rabbit, which is cool, but uh, apparently like from gameplay standpoints, that character is very useless. So uh, that's not good. But well, yeah, maybe for a later point. Right now. Just Jazz Jack Rabbit 2. Alright. So, the thing that we are doing here is we're collecting coins, you know, and sometimes you have to go into secrets, right? This is just something that is seared, has been seared into my brain, that there's a secret here, that we can, we can go down here, and that gives us additional coins. And once we have um, enough coins, we can go to this thing. This will take us to sort of a secret area. There we get the bird, which gives us additional firepower. Secret treasure room, here we go. Um, that was just an idle animation there, which is pretty good. And uh, now we get a power up. So every weapon in the game has a powered up version. And usually what you have to do is you have to find these secrets. You have to find all the coins, get to the secret area, and there you generally will find the power up thing. So yeah, but we can't go back there again, but that is fine. It's fine. Okay. Right, so it just generally makes it more powerful. It just changes the behavior a little bit, so this is now bouncing more than it was before. You know, that kind of stuff. It's never a big fan of the bouncing weapon, although it can be pretty useful to hit things that are further down, for example. All that kind of stuff. So yeah. And the bird is just following us. As you can see, the bird has a gun mounted on its beak. Which is a bit weird, but that's how it is. And, uh... It will give us additional firepower. Which is good. Can always use that. Here we go. Nightcap. It's the second level, and this is the first level that is actually different, depending on wh which character you play. Like, you start this level in a different area when you play as Jazz. Yep, here we go with that. I have way too many memories of this. 
that I still remember, you know? I don't know why my brain has, uh, has space for that while I forget everything else. Okay, here we go. So now we are in the night version of the castle, which also looks extremely nice. Like, look at this. I don't know, you know? The parallax is amazing, but makes for very improbable architecture. So... Like, who the hell, right? Who the hell would build something like this? Again, another secret. Always kind of pays to check the walls and all this kind of stuff. So here we got, like, a little introduction to switch puzzles. So there's this block that we can destroy and that will remove these blocks. Right, there's another little secret there. Which I think there's just a... wait. Yeah, there's just a teleporter up there. And there we go. Alright. Here we go. So, how do we approach it? There's a bunch of these bats. They can actually be kind of troublesome. But having the bird definitely helps. And there's another thing, there's blocks that you have to destroy with a specific weapon. Also, what we got was a fast fire power-up. These are like the green guns that you can find. And they will just enable auto-fire. And the more you get, the more you... Uh, the faster you fire. I mean, that's pretty straightforward, right? And they are usually for... Uh, They, they are basically random. I don't think they are placed in the levels. They just get dropped randomly by enemies. Like entirely random. Like it's different every time. And uh, we just want to collect as many of them as we can. At, at the end we basically get like... Complete, like fast auto fire. Just increases the frequency. Okay. Here we go. All right. There we go. Sugar rush. I think this is when you pick up enough fruit. I don't know how many. Maybe a hundred or something. Um, you know that does this. So that was another secret thing. This time there's only there's only the crystals. I don't remember what the crystals actually do. It might just be a point thing. I'm not sure. So, that was the coin area of this level. Neato. So let's collect this. Another crystal. The carrots are health. Which makes sense for rabbits. Here we go. Thank you. All right. And let's go down. I think this is just a bunch of crystals, I guess. Right. Like 10 or something. I don't know. A lot of stuff to pick up in this. Okay. Oop. Yeah. And now I got hit and now the bird is gone. I was always sad when that happened. This is a little companion, you know? It's a little friend. A little birdie. Okay. Getting, getting hit way too much right now, but it's okay. So we're getting kind of showered with one-ups and all that kind of stuff. I do remember this game being kind of easy. Even on the hardest difficulty, right? Like, but, uh, I'm not playing on turbo, I'm playing on hard, but, uh, but still. I think the turbo wasn't actually in the original. I think the turbo difficulty is something that this mod has added. And, you know, I'm kind of going for the original experience right now, so... All right, so now we can get the helicopter ears. Allows us to go up here. Cheese is green on Tuesday. Yeah. They were, you know, epic mega games in the 90s. Stuff like that. And now we have a boss fight. I also remember the boss fights not being particularly inspiring. So essentially, I have to 
dodge, dodge the bats, and shoot Queen Rabbit. Yeah. Ooh. Come on. Shoot Queen Queen Rabbit here until she drops down at the end. I think and that's the play here. Yeah. When we hit her, she walks backwards. Ooh. I have to not die. Jesus Christ, I'm not... I'm talking about how this game is too easy. Hey, I almost did not do it. Congratulations, you can now exit the castle. Here we go. I don't know where she went, but... Oh, and I'm dead. <laughs> oh, oh, that was weird. I died at the same... And now we get the... This is now the level finished music in this new level. I think I... I think I just broke something. I don't know. That was weird. I died exactly the same time... exactly at the same time when I was... when I finished the level. I think you're not supposed to do that. So, these guys can give us temporary helicopters that we can use to get some more goodies. And that's this. So, this is... I always loved the look of... Ah, no. Ah, jeez. Missing out on some fruit now. Maybe we can get it at... Yeah, we can get it anyways. Doesn't matter. Okay, fine. Um... I always liked the look of this one. You know? This is just a great... I, I think it still looks great, right? Like, this is obviously 640 by 480. It's not super high res, but... Look at this. Okay, now we've got the flame flamethrower, which is powerful, but um, short-ranged. Still good. So let me see, is there anything here? Yeah, I always check these kinds of things. Ooh. Come on. Nope, nothing there. That's fine. Okay. I think the fast fire increases range for the flamethrower, but I'm not sure. Otherwise, it probably does nothing for the flamethrower. So the flamethrower was different in Jazz One, where it's just like a projectile, and here it is, uh, you know, actually behaves a bit like flame would. Here we go. I think this is also one of those levels that has different different geometry depending on who we are. I think this is actually the area that uh, that jazz starts in. Yeah, now we can use the flamethrower to melt the ice. There we go. Got a bunch of one-ups. Very nice. Um. Okay, and the levels actually, like, are sort of in the vein of old shareware stuff, right? They are fairly open, fairly open-ended, and allow for exploration, which I like. This is good. Let me see. Yeah, this is where we started up there. I think we're just walking backwards to where Jazz starts, but that's fine, you know? It allows us to pick up all the goodies, that kind of stuff. I don't think... Yeah, this game does not have a time limit. Yeah, I think this is the starting area for Jazz. Up there, that's where we started. Always like that. Okay. All right. Let's go. Over here. Flame weapon can be used to melt the ice. Yes, we already done that. Okay, so now, now that we've done this, can drop down here, and uh, there's two ways to go. You know, like always in games, when a arrow points you in a direction, take the other direction first. You never know. All right. Good music. Very good music. Okay. It tells us to go that way, so we're gonna go this way. Always do the opposite. It's 
always opposite day over here in Jazz Jack Rabbit Land. Okay, so we've got 20 coins now. I don't know if it's always 20 coins. I'm gonna see, I guess. All right, let's get that stuff. Oh, I should have probably taken the helicopter. Jeez, ah, okay, it's fine. I think there's just a bunch of stuff here, yeah. Can we get in there somehow? No. There's probably like an entrance way up there, but I don't think we can reach that now. I think we, we bollocks that. It's fine. Just a bit of stuff. I'm not, I'm not playing this with a completionist mindset, so whatever. Let's continue. But like I'm, I'm already remembering this less than the the first few levels, so yeah, we get another birdie. Nice. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, classic, straightforward wall, transparent wall, secret thing. Let me see. Can I get this like this? Yes, I can. Fantastic. Yay! Bunch of ammo. Nope. I think we have to take the... We're gonna have to take the elevator. The... Tomato elevator? I don't know what that is. Okay. Let's get that. Ooh. Alright. Any... Okay, this is probably where it continues over there. Ah, oh. Jeez, okay, problem is, I've now probably missed a bunch of stuff. No, I haven't. Okay, good. So these are checkpoints. You know, classic level checkpoint. You die, you start there again. Okay. Come on. Come on. Okay. Here we go. Oh, that's just health. Okay, and that would get us the coin. Okay, good. All right. Let's see. Hmm. Here we go. Yeah, we're just collecting one-ups like nothing. All right. Ah, yeah, it's 20 coins. Good, let's go there. And this is the flamethrower upgrade. Very good. I think it turns it blue, if I remember correctly. Let me see. One up, another one. Yeah, we got this. Probably does more damage, has a bit more reach or something. I don't know. What does this say? Stomp your booty to exit. Yes, I love to stomp my booty. Here we go. Ah, shit. That's the helicopter thing, and it's already gone away. Ah. Okay, well, missing a bunch of stuff up there. It's fine. Don't remember if this actually has secret levels or not. The first game had secret levels. So... I mean, if we miss something, we miss something. I'm not a Jazz Jack Rabbit expert. All right. Hmm. Bad time to do this. Okay. All right. Anything here? No. Always check your walls. It's like playing Doom, you know. All right, here we go. Carrot juice. Sure. Okay, there's a one up there. I think we can just do this. Yes, indeed. All right. So now we actually have a decision to make here. Where are we going to go? We can actually go back from here, so... Let's go here first. The other one we might not be able to. Oop. Got murderized. Murderized and jokerified in one fell swoop. Okay. All right. Ah, it's just a bunch of, bunch of stuff here. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Let's just see. 
Now we can't go back, actually. No, that was a bad idea or not. We're gonna see. Also, I think the the mod that I'm using there enhances the sugar rush effect a little bit. I think it was not that flashy, F flashy, flashy in the in the original. Okay. Anything here? No. There's a giant thingy. Anything here? Yay! Teleporter, and here we go. There's the giant crystal. Did I do this right? That was not that much. Okay, whatever. Yeah, shooting pretty fast at this point. Very good. And a golden coin. Okay, that's the first coin we found here, which is a little bit disconcerting to me. But we're gonna see. Um, hmm. Nope. Hey! Asshole. No. Took two hits from one enemy. How embarrassing. Okay. Ah! Ah! This is how that goes. Nice. Alright. Oh. Might need to take the helicopter for this. Wait, maybe if I can destroy the crate like this, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this... we might not be... Yeah, I think this is probably the alternate path. And now I lost the helicopter. Crikey. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, we might, might not be able to do this. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Well, that's okay. I don't care. I... One second. Oops. Hey, you can see my desktop. I'm going to... Yeah, I think this is better. Uh, uh oh dear. Okay. Alright. Back in it. Ooh. I want to kind of avoid the point of no return here. Okay. Gotta be honest, that always kind of stresses me out a bit. When, like, the level design is set up in a way where you get, like, these points of no return. But, well, such it is. Okay, what is that? Bubble shield? Unlimited special ammo for a short time. Okay, before we do that, let's just quickly explore the rest of this area. I think we're probably gonna have to continue over there. Oh no, maybe this way. No, this takes us back, I believe. Yep, it does. Good. All right. It does give us a bunch of coins again. Maybe we can get the... Hey, now we can bubble. I don't know if it's good or not, but... Oh shit. Uh, we might have missed this. No, no, I have not missed this. Good, in fact. Alright, now we got 20 coins. Fantastic. Good. Alright, I was worried for nothing. Okay, this is the teleporter. Hmm. Might not be able to get this. This is something, yeah, the, that's what the thing was for. Okay. Hmm. Oh, that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, don't stress me out. Alarm clock sound. Okay, here we go. Alright, let's see. Uh-huh. 
Another teleporter, another coin. All right, now I don't know where I am. Okay, I'm back here. Now we just need to find the thingy. Yeah, there it is. Okay. And we got this again. Okay, there's just another opportunity to get this. Also, rapid fire is pretty rapid at this point. I like it. All right. Okay. Yeah. Come on. All right, good. Come on, all right. Yeah, at this point, the normal gun is just really good. Like, look at this. That was pretty fun. Anything that we can get here? Uh, what about this? Yes. I knew it. This looked like a thing, you know, when you see like a little seemingly useless nook somewhere, you gotta go there. That's just video game law, essentially. Okay. So let's see. Mm, okay, this is now just here. Good. Boom. And now we have a boss fight again. To murder this guy. Ooh. Yeah, again. Maybe not a particularly inspiring boss fight here. <laughs> and murdered. Okay. This Schwarzengard is toast. Whatever a Schwarzengard is, but here we go. Ooh. Now we're in the science area. Uh, I never liked this one, actually. This is sort of like a mad scientist's lab kind of arrangement. I don't know. This was always the one... Think back then, if I, when I, if I stopped playing, this was usually why I did it. I don't know why. I don't know why I dislike this so much, but for some reason I do. Okay, let me see. Is there a way to get through? Yes, five coins. Here we go. Ooh. Not and get that. Nice. All right. But good music. Maybe. Ah, okay. Ha, we did it without the teleporter. We're awesome like that. Um. Yeah, maybe I did this level a little bit dirty, actually. This might actually be an awesome one. Okay, this. Ah, ah, more coins. Good. We have already 16 coins. Getting there. Getting there. Also, we we will we have rapid fire up the wazoo. Okay. Fantastic. Come on. That's probably where we should have used the, the bouncy, the bouncy boys, but, well... Okay. Hmm. Uh, there's no entrance there. Maybe that way? No. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Oh, this is just a collision thing. Oh, no, nothing. Oh, uh, a little bit janky over here. A little bit janky. Ah, there we go. There we go. Oops, did not get everything. Okay. Here we go. Good. You know, it's just a bunch of stuff. There's sort of an inherent satisfaction in finding the secrets, so I like it. I like to find the secrets. I feel like secrets is a kind of a lost art in in games. Not a lost art, but it's not done as much anymore because you know 
always want your audience to find everything that you've made. Okay. Can we get up there? Hmm. 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 Let's see. Boop. Okay. Can we destroy this? Yeah. We can! Oh. And this is okay. This is where we would also have gotten the the upgraded flamethrower. It's just a it's just a thingy. Okay, wait. Ah, this is how we can get here? No, mm, no, that's not the way. Oh. Nah, come on. No! Well, this is going to take a while. This is going to take a while. Let's see, here we go. One up. Can we get in here? Yes, and this is how we get that stuff. Good. All right. Okay, this gets us to the 20 coins. Again, I don't know if it's always 20. It might be more in some levels. I don't remember, really. Oh, can go in here. Are you supposed to be going in here? Doesn't look like it. There's some jank in this. Okay, let me see. Ah, here we go. Up here? Anything here? Looks like there should be something here, but there isn't. Hmm, okay. Lost the bird. Okay, there's something to get the... There is some way to get those. Ah, that thing over there, yeah. Okay, let me see. How do we get in there is the question again. That's always the question. How do we get in there? Okay, no, that's the other way around. Let me see. Ah, well, that was that was easier than I thought. Here we go. Now we've probably activated those blocks up there. Yes, we have. And we got a bunch of green crystals. Well, whatever. It's fine. Okay, let me see. Um, let's do that. Rabbits don't eat meat. It's weird. That this would be a pickup. Okay, so this is where we continue. Okay, this gives us some additional stuff, so let's go over there. Some strawberries. You know, that makes a bit more sense, actually, than chicken legs. I don't know. Okay, there's more coins up there. Yeah, this makes me think that there might be more. That, there, that we might need more coins, actually. Yeah, these are just inflated and they deflate when you shoot them. Okay. I think we're getting up to like 30 or something. So, yeah, 31, 36 coins. Might be 40 in this, I don't know. I'm not sure. We're gonna see. No. I've seen people call this a Sonic the Hedgehog clone, the Jazz Jackrabbit games. They're super not. They're very different. Like the, the whole feel, the, the way that the levels are built, how momentum works, it's completely different. So, I don't know. Oh, it's weird. Like, on an extremely surface level, maybe, but nah. can only say that if you haven't played it. Also, this is a uh, a robot from One Must Fall 2049. I, I, I forget the number. 2047, something like that. 2097, I believe. Right? <laughs> I always forget the number. Um, yeah, the, the fighting game that Epic Mega Games published back then. 
It's a game that I like a lot, but it's maybe not a great fighting game in the grand scheme of fighting games, but you know. It was a shareware game for the computer. And as such, it works. You know, just don't compare it to Street Fighter. Okay. Oh, come on. This feels very much like... Remember the Darkwing Duck game for the NES? There's this stuff in there, like... Okay. Here we go. Up here. Like hanging from hooks is something I, for some reason, I never had an NES, but something that I, I bought the Disney Afternoon Collection thingy for, for on Steam. And that game is in there, and I finished that game. Maybe that's why it is. Oh, no, 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 no! We missed a bunch of stuff because I went in the in the pipe. Ah, again, another point of no return. I hope we have enough. Coins. That's definitely got. Oh, it's 50. Oh no. We might not be able to get this. Because I definitely missed some golden coins there. Ah! Drat. Well. What can you do? Okay, I think this is probably what we would arrive at with the coin thing over there. Yeah, it looks like it. So maybe we are not missing out on much. No, oh, come on. I never have the patience for these. I always want to skip some and then I drop down. Which is stupid because this just takes me longer then. Here we go. I missed some golden coins! Very much not a fan of that. Okay. Alright. Ah, for me, ah, 45. Ah, well, we're gonna see. There are some more coins there. Don't know if we're gonna get 50. get 50. Yeah, we're probably not gonna get 50 because we missed the ones there. Okay, well... That's fine. That's fine, actually. How do you actually get there, by the way? Oh yeah, this way. Yeah, need three more. Well, that is frustrating. Okay, well... I guess that's how it is. All right, okay. Sucks to be me then. Yeah, let's finish this. You know, we wouldn't have we wouldn't have really gotten anything good out of it anyways, so it's fine. Lose screws in the second science level. Get the coins! My eye is twitching when I hear the word coins. Okay, well, something we can probably... Oh, come at from a different direction. This looks like a teleporter thing. Hmm. Hmm. No. Okay, let me see. Let's get over here. Ah, ah, it was not a teleporter. Oh, Jesus Christ, Jay. It wasn't a teleporter. It was just a thingy. Here we go. Down. Get the crystals. Get the birdie! Okay, there's another. Okay, how can I? Hmm. Yeah! That's it. Nice. Good. I'll feel better about myself. 
All right, okay. Let me just quickly check this wall here. I don't know. I, I've become paranoid. Okay. Good. These blocks are speed blocks. Run at them at full speed. Okay, well, let's do it. Yeah, that did work. It also work from the other side if we just butt stomp down? Probably not, right? Oh, no, it does work. As long as you maintain the speed, it works. Okay. Looks like we're continuing here. Oh, hey, hey. Hello. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right. Let me see what was over there. Ah, lost my birdie friend. Again. Ah, yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Anything here? No, this is just the remaining things that I did not destroy. Okay, good. All right, okay, there's gonna be a way to do this. Kind of running out of flamethrower ammo here. Flamethrower is pretty good against these guys. Uh, I could also use the bouncy thing. Okay, nothing there. I need to check. Let's get that. 16 coins. Okay, it's gonna be 50, right? It's probably gonna be 50. Ah, come on. Ah. <laughs> okay. I had to check. I always have to check. All right. Ooh, no, 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 no. We're not going to go there just yet. Let me see. Okay, this is probably... Hmm. Okay, this is... I don't think we can reach that. No. Nope. No. Probably a different way there. This might be where Jazz starts. Or like... An area that we get to from the other side if we play as jazz. But still. Hmm. Hmm. I do not see a good way to get there. Let's check this out before we do the other stuff. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be really anything there. Come on. Hmm. Okay. I guess. Not really anything here. Okay, wait. Oh, yeah, well, let's not skip that. Yeah, I don't know how to get there. That's weird. That might really be something... It would be weird to hide coins behind something that only the other character can get. But maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just a different stuff, but... I feel like I missed something there. It's fine. Ah, ha, ha. Okay. Well, that was 
pretty cool. <laughs> anything over there? No, the walls are not doing anything. Does this actually get us in somewhere? No. Can I get... no. No, I don't think we can. Ah, there we go. I guess that takes us up to 22. It doesn't seem to have as many coins, so maybe 20 is enough again. Or maybe it's like 30 or something, I don't know. Okay, we're gonna see. Oh, we get the hoverboard. That's fun. We're gonna lose that at some point. I don't know how long that goes. This might be, yeah, this is not an arrow. I think the hoverboard does not go away by time. It's also a pretty shitty hoverboard, if I'm honest with you. And this thing is slow. <laughs> All right, hey, there's a golden coin up there. Hmm? Oh. Okay. Get up here. Let's get that coin. Are we 27? Yeah, it's exactly those three that we saw there that are left for 30. So I'm kind of worried about that. Hey, there's another one up. Oh. Ah, this is where we lose the thing. Okay, cool. I think this is just a trigger in a level design trigger. Okay. No. Bunch of extraneous. Okay, and there is a thing. I don't know what that is. This might turn us into jazz. At least temporarily. Yeah, it is. So. Now we can actually talk about this. So Jazz has does not have a double jump. He has like this floating thing. And we have if we if you duck and press uh, press jump, you get like the, the this kind of uppercut thing instead of the the other thing. And I don't like it. I don't like it. Right? Like I would love. Yeah. Hello. Okay. Oh well, maybe not. Um, so. Yeah, I prefer having the double jump. Okay, got a sugar rush now. Just whatever. Okay. Let's not get stressed out. Okay, it's it's a twenty one. Okay. Uh, doesn't seem to be anything interesting here, anyways. Yeah, eh, just a bunch of crystals and ammo. It's okay. All right. Well, but we did it. And that's all that matters. Okay. Oops, that's a speed block. I hope this turns us back into spares. I don't remember. At some point. I hope this is not a permanent change. I mean, if it is, then that's what it is, but... Oh yeah. It is. It's uh, it's a temporary thing. Now we are spaz again. Good. All right. Again. If I have a lot of time on my hands, I might do another playthrough with uh, with jazz at some point. But for now, for now, we're gonna do we're gonna do spaz. Okay. Oh, can't defeat me. Prepare to face my super bot. Uh, it definitely looks like a super bot. All right. Not like a shitty contraption. I think this is the... You know? The turtle and the hare, this kind of thing. This is what this is loosely based off. You know, maybe the moral of the story is a different one in this. Not sure. But the villains are all turtles. And I think that is the... The villain himself, Devon Shell. 
think he has stolen the engagement ring. Hey, and uh, we finished the episode. That was the first episode. So um, I'm going to stop the recording here.